God is good. All the time. And all the time. God, God is, is good. good. And indeed, he is. What an awesome, amazing day we have today. And yes, between six and nine this morning, we were allowed, enabled to uh, get out and enjoy the day. A very warm welcome to our midday prayers. It's good to see you, and I greet you with a blessing. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's go straight on to the reading, shall we? Our first reading from Acts. Elaine, do you want to read that? Can you read that? <laughs> A reading from Acts chapter 9, verses 31 to 42. Meanwhile, the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria had peace and was built up. Living in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it increased its numbers. Now, as Peter went here and there among the believers, he came down also to the saints living in Lydda. Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas who had been bedridden for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was de devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time she became ill and died. And when they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. And since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with the request, Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Here ends the lesson. <clears throat> Is God not amazing? The early church kept on growing. In spite of not being able to meet in large buildings, in spite of not being able to meet except in people's homes, and sometimes not even together. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> Maybe God can be, be doing exactly the same in our world right now. In fact, I know he is, because there are more people that are acknowledging that God is Lord. That the Almighty God is the only God worth turning to. And so, like Peter, we should be living out the love and living out the path of Christ. Have you tried praying for somebody that they will get well? even over a phone or WhatsApp call. You yourself may be amazed at how God works. All he needs is our prayer and the glory that goes to him once people come to believe. Let that be your challenge for the day. Who needs our prayer? Who needs to be prayed for at this time. We share in Psalm 116. 
Um, are you going to read with me, Lay? Mm -hmm. Can you see that, or do you need my glasses? No, I've got mine. I'll ask the ladies, please, to read the even-numbered verses, and gents, we'll stick to the odd-numbered verses. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I, I am your servant, the child of your serving girl. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. The psalmist here is talking about placing all his hope on God. Where is your hope? I know mine is on God. And all that I can bring him is a thanksgiving sacrifice, the sacrifice of my own life, and counting the blessings that he's poured out upon me and simply saying to him, thank you. Where do you pay your vows? To the Lord? To the medical services? to our government. God is to be served first and then the government, then the medical field. Our lives are made so that we can praise the Lord. So in all that you do, pay your vows to him, be an offering a sacrifice, a sacrifice of praise and thanks. And together with all of his creation, let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, indeed. Our Gospel reading is taken from John chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. When many of Jesus' disciples heard it, they said, this teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? This teaching being the teaching to lay down your life and to love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and to give your riches away. But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe, and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you, that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Here ends the second lesson. Does Christ's teaching seem hard to us? Now, just to give you some perspective, Jesus had... concentric circles of people with him. Very close to him, Peter, James, and John. 
in the next circle, also very close, were the other nine making up the twelve. A bigger circle, about 120 people who were walking with Jesus, including Mary Magdalene, Mary his mother, Veronica, a whole lot of other women. The woman who supported him financially during his ministry. And beyond them was an even greater following. All of them calling themselves his disciples because they were following his teaching. And it is of the 120 and the greater number that left him when they heard how difficult Jesus' teaching was. My prayer is that you and I will be in the inner circle. One of the two inner circles, with Peter, James and John, or with the twelve. My prayer is that we will not faint, that we will not grow weak hearing what Jesus requires of us, but that we will remain steadfast. That we will be like Peter who answers Jesus, you, are the, you have the words of eternal life, so where can we go to? We can only follow Christ, regardless of what happens, regardless of what comes in the days ahead. We follow Christ and him only, because he is the Holy One of God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let's turn to prayer. Elaine, do you want to start and lead us with the prayer by Raw? This is a, a, a prayer from Richard Raw's meditation, a daily meditation. It's a prayer for our community. Oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens and the weight of glory. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of our world, knowing you are hearing us better than we are speaking. We offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. Amen. God, bless the world, give it wisdom at this time, grant us relief and release. Be with those who are ill and bless the carers fighting this pandemic, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Um, a prayer for all those affected by the coronavirus. Keep us, good Lord under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low that we might find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we ask you to strengthen us to be faithful witnesses to your word. Strengthen us, Lord, as we lead people to understand where we as a country have failed and strengthen us to show the way to what is truth. Lord, may we turn to you, may we humble ourselves and may we bring others with you, with, with us, to kneel at your feet, that our land may be healed. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We pray for Africa as we say together, God bless Africa, guard our children, guide our leaders, and give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Kate Ralph is going to lead us in Be Thou My Vision. God, in the season of fear and uncertainty, as we face the threat of the coronavirus, grant us the wisdom and determination to walk in one another's shoes, the confidence and the humility to draw closer to you and to those affected. Empower us to pass to those who are ill, to weep for the dead, to support the healers, and to care for and love one another. May Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Adonai look on you with favour and grant you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you, your family and all for whom you pray, this day and always. Amen. Please remember the Eucharist tomorrow at 8.30. Please bring your bread and wine or equivalent, and we will share together in the Eucharist. Ian will be preaching one way or another, and we have several 
readers, people praying, a good number of people sharing the service with us. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Till tomorrow then. God bless.